Well, you guys got another video here for you. Now I get asked this quite a lot, is why is my computer running hot or overheating? And I'm gonna show you the number one cause of why computers run really hot and they overheat. And as you can see here, it looks uh, like we've got a lot of dust inside here and that's because I've neglected it and I haven't cleaned it. Now I'm gonna show you uh, a pretty severe case here of neglect and it's not been cleaned at all for quite a while so just take a, a closer look now you can see the power supply area here it's completely blocked the events here are all completely blocked and the graphics card area and this is really bad for hardware it can cause the hardware to foul or even overheat and if I move up the case a little bit here you can see the fans all clagged up and clogged up with dust and this also shortens the life of the hardware as well. So you've got to remember that, guys. And this is the number one cause of uh, overheating and crashing. Now, a lot of these modern cases come with filters, as you can see. So does this one. But look at the state of the filters. The filters are blocked and full of dust. And what this means is it can't draw, uh, draw cold air or cool air in from the outside into the uh, actual case to cool it down or can cool the components down and you can see it's just a matted layer of dust and uh, dust uh, heat can't dissipate through dust it actually builds up heat and this is the problem look at the front of this uh, case here this is the front intake and there's three fans behind here and you can see this is completely congested with dust and that means no air or good air is getting through to the case and this will cause the machine to run really hot and normally overheat and you may get crashes and you can see here so th this is how you don't want to leave your computer and you don't want to let it get to this stage take it outside and give it a clean out and I'll show you how to do that in this video it's pretty straightforward and easy to do now there's lots of theories and lots of uh, uh, questions when people say oh you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that uh, but you know I'll show you what I do basically and uh, it's it's worked for me for a long time and it's it's okay so you can see here you've got dust build up inside and if I get real close in now you can see it's pretty nasty and uh, also uh, you may want to change the compound on your CPU if it's overeaten and the GPU you can change the G, uh, the compound on those if you wish um, but I know the temperatures believe it or not are still pretty good on this machine even though it's clagged with dust uh, but we're going to be cleaning out here. Now look at the fans up there where the radiator is. The radiator's clean at the top, uh, but underneath where it's drawing air in through the radiator, it's blocked all down there. So we need to clean that out. Now you could strip this down and completely do a detailed job on it and clean it all up. I've not got the time for that. So I'm going to take it outside and use uh, a shop vac and blow air into the case and as you can see there's quite a lot of nasty air there and uh, I'm just going to blow this out and uh, as you can see there loads and loads of dust coming out of here now this should lower the temperature of the case and make it a lot quieter as well but you can see that the, the uh, dust uh, blown about here now you may want to wear a mask and stuff like that um, but you can see it's all just carpet air and dead skin and all sorts of stuff dust as well build up inside there now you can see I'm holding the uh, fans here as I'm doing this some people uh, don't bother doing that it's entirely up to you uh, what you want to do and how you want to do yours just gonna blow the front of this out now also the rad here I'm just gonna hold on to the fans and blow air through um, now there's no moisture coming off of this there's no static uh, that can be caused here you're not going to damage the machine in any way shape or form here and even if you left these spinning a little bit you've got to be a bit careful that you don't overspin the fans you could damage them if you're really really close um, you know but if you keep it at distance it's okay you can put a bit of tape on there to hold them if you wish if you don't want to get close to the dust I'm just blowing through the top now to make sure the dust is all free and just keep doing this until you remove everything and you can see the dust coming out of that graphics card there's there was just a big plume of dust there coming through and this is going to cause a lot of overheating especially if you're overclocking as well this could cause a major crashing as well because obviously you've got too much dust in there uh, the 
heat can't dissipate and then of course uh, you end up with overheating so let me just quickly do the front here I've pulled the uh, filter off the front now I'm just going to give these fans a quick blowout and also underneath there's a filter area where the power supply is and I'm just going to uh, put some air through there now you can see the fans not really spinning vast amounts here you could put a toothpick in there to hold that if you wish now what I do like to do also is to use some uh, isopropanol uh, wipes here and just wipe off any surplus dust around the fans and on the fan blades and what this is going to do is allow the uh, air to fr flow freely across the uh, blades of the, the fan there so I just like to go ahead and just rub each individual uh, fan part here and just clean this off. It does take a bit of time, but you'll see much better results once it's done. Now you could remove the fans if you wish, if you wanna go really into it and start stripping it all down. I've not got the time to do that, so I'm just gonna quickly do it this way. It works fine for me and uh, it should be okay. We're not putting this, um, computer into any competitions for cleanliness it's it's been neglected as you can see there which pretty much all my computers do get neglected they're just on completely 24 hours a day so as you can see I'll give this a quick wipe off and wipe around the chassis as well uh, to remove any dust or remnants that may be left behind so you can see the fans now and the filters are all nice and cleaned I've cleaned all these up and I've give these a wipe with some uh, isopropanol pads as well uh, just to clean off those and we'll just put that back onto the front of the case and you can see the shop shop vac in the background you can get these on ebay pretty cheap uh, this is only a cheap one um, you can use a compressor if you want uh, but you've got to be careful with the moisture that comes out of them uh, if it hits the compute, computer components but as you can see it's pretty clean inside there now and even up the top there where it was clagged with dust uh, that's all come up pretty nice and clean and tidy so the reason why I've done this is because I wanted to do a little upgrade of this system. I've now got 60 gigs of memory and I've also got uh, a 500 gig, another 500 gig solid state drive inside there as well. Anyway, that's basically how you can stop your computer overheating. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests, you can head over to the forums. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Also, you can see me pointing to the CPU here. You may want to change all the compound if you're having overheating issues with the CPU and the GPU. You may want to change the compound on there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So anyway, have a good one, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.